New Year's Eve is usually a time for reflection and attempts to improve ourselves and the world around us. And the difficult times of 2022 are being reflected on in many people's New Year's resolutions, including those from our elected officials. We asked the mayor, as well as Thunder Bay's federal and provincial politicians, about their resolutions for 2023. Well, I've got to get back to the gym, as, as people keep telling me I must, and uh, that will help me uh, stay energized and stay healthy and get to see people again, too. Well, I uh, do have to do more physical activity, and so I'm finding it a little hard to jam that into my day, but my New Year's resolution is to carve out at least an hour a day so that I can get grounded and, and resume some physical activity. I've always been somewhat active, but I have found that in this job, I sit a lot, I fly a lot, and there's always food around. So I'm going to try to stay as healthy and balanced as possible. Uh, to work as hard as I can to build bridges uh, with people on all sides of the political spectrum in the House and see if we can't make things better for people across the province. I never make New Year's resolutions. You know, I think, I think trying to get it right is a 365-day um, job, <laughs> and nothing's going to change magically overnight on New Year's Eve. So I, I don't bother you in trying. So I don't do typical resolutions. My resolutions are, are a little bit contrary to what resolutions are. I just want to see us, you know, I'm going to move forward and continue to do the work that needs to, to be done at Thunder Bay, Attico, and, and uh, carry forward on that.